Back into the tech dungeon. Though, in reality, we can consider all of these dungeons to be tech dungeons. Even the forest one, with all its uh, lush greenery, it is the result of technology causing an apocalypse in that world. No, I think you'd more accurately call this one the electricity dungeon, because everything here is, is sparking with, yeah, sparking with lightning and whatnot. I mean, e even then, how do they even know that this is technology as opposed to magic? Why even make that distinction in the first place? I don't know. I don't understand how, how the, like, the characters view this dungeon, to be honest. Okay, in the meantime, though, I guess this is what the glitch stuff looks like here. Just sends me right back into the forest dungeon instead of the fifth one. Sort of, uh, leading a little bit more credibility to my idea that the fifth dungeon is not actually going to be a dungeon, but maybe just an epilogue to the story or something? Where we find out the, the, I don't know, Modrians from Planescape that were creating the artificial dungeon also made this one. Something like that. These, these are references that I'm sure that we all understand very well here. I don't know. As it is, the plan right now, at least for this first trip in here, is to try and get enough money to upgrade the rest of my equipment. Having access into the tech dungeon, you know, having seen it last time, I do... No, oh, sure. Uh, I do have you know, dungeon-appropriate equipment here, as you can see from my very fancy, very ominous-looking uh, sword and shield. But everything else, all pretty much completely unupgraded. If I just get enough money, it should be totally fine to to get all of the rest of you know, you know everything up to plus 1 or plus 3 in the case of the weapons. And then I'm thinking it'll be at least fairly simple to get to the ah, I'm not even going to bother. At least fairly simple to to beat this dungeon. I don't know about the next one. This is still the hardest difficulty and everything. But in general, the the level of difficulty has been getting progressively easier. So, so much like a, I don't know, the original Kid Icarus, for example, where that game started out extremely hard at the beginning, but then as soon as you get enough upgrades and everything, actually, uh, sort of a much d d difficulty drops off by a lot. Let's just say that. Okay, okay. I mean, I can try and avoid getting hit. Enemies are getting tougher in this dungeon. Oh, okay, good. Enemies are certainly getting tougher in this dungeon and everything. I, I think that's unquestionable. It's just I'm also getting very tough myself. So I can take hits pretty easily. Not even flinch all that much. As long as I stay directly next to this thing, yeah. Should be able to not even, like, well, and I'm not going to say not take any damage, but take a very minimal amount of damage. It is a combination of my equipment giving me a bunch of extra HP and at the same time also giving me a little bit of damage reduction. That's what the upgrades do more than anything else. And that is sort of what I... All right. Uh, sort of why I want to get the upgrades for at least the armor, if nothing else. Because as of right now... uh. My cool eyeball shield and sword doing a good job in terms of killing enemies. It's like things are not taking too many hits to take down. And I can also just hold up the shield. That way I don't have to keep rolling away every single time. Alright, what do you got? I mean, whatever you got, it's just going to be more money. That's, that's the important thing at this point in time. And... Yeah, I guess I don't really have enough quite to clear that out but I should yeah what do I need these things for I do I certainly do not need you know pathetic old nonsense type of type of items I'm, I'm only here for the hot the, for the newest highest technology garnered through uh, the big cave system that exists next to the town I mean okay it doesn't actually exist next to the town I think we've established pretty clearly at this point that these are absolutely supposed to be like, whatever this green goo is, it's creating dungeons. It's like a, a teleportation type of deal. Oh, whatever. I can just stand here at this point. It's like a teleportation type of deal, and these things are... Oh, I don't know if I ever actually saw this uh, this particular uh, room set up prior to this point. 
gives you some higher tier sort of items. And also, yeah, green related stuff again. Still not quite sure exactly what the deal with that is. I don't even know if I want to get rid of that. Uh, you know, it is just clear out a lot of this. Gives me a good amount of money. It's a capacitor. It is an energy capacitor. Okay. Store. Who is Tomo? And yeah, okay. So straight up, like these guys absolutely know the distinction between technology and magic. I do, how? How exact? It's so weird. Everybody in this world is like, it's like they're pretending not to know exactly what's going on or something. I don't even know how to explain it. They're like, oh yeah, I mean, we don't, like, like they're, uh, I, I don't know, um, doing some sort of acting, like, like they're pretending that they're in an RPG or something with the way that they talk about this. I, I don't even know how to describe it. You know how they have like those colonial era towns or something that uh, people will act as if they're living in the year to 1700 or whatever. I should know when the colonial times are in my own nation, but what do you want from me? But it, it's like, but instead they're pretending like, uh, no, 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 we didn't set up these dungeons. What are you talking about? That's, that's ridiculous. I can't believe you'd even accuse us of such a thing. <laughs> anyway, I mean, that'd be a twist. Certainly. Would it be a twist though? <laughs> yes, it would, but would it though? All right. Um. All right, destroys one artifact curse. Okay, do you also do that? One artifact curse. Uh, let's just go put the capacitors over here, put this in here, and get this destroyed then. There we go. Because that should be, I mean, welding rods are probably not gonna be that important. I do want like that, this and the capacitor though, which I'm fairly certain are gonna be much more, much more useful in time. As it is, though, still don't really know what to expect from the the second boss in this area. Because after all, every one of those tend to be upgraded with some sort of usually teleportation. The green the the green jelly just gave a I don't think I've seen this one yet. Uh, green jelly just gave like corrosive powers to the tree, but this one probably again going to be more teleportation stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, so even the techno Okay, so so I guess the fifth dungeon is going to be the highest technology of them all. Interesting. Because yeah, we've kind of established at this point in time that Oh, clever. Well, that's how they're gonna do that here. It makes sense. Um, but yeah, they kind of established that uh I've entirely forgotten what I was saying. I'm too distracted by fighting the corrupted oscillator here. Now, what about the like waves of electricity stuff? Now, those are still the same as usual. Yeah, usually the usually only one of the attacks gets changed up between each of these bosses. I should have plenty. And to be honest, it's like I'm doing fine damage. I should have plenty of everything to do everything. I was taking a look at the door. Is the door a little bit different than usual? Can't quite tell. But like, yeah, it, it seems to have big, I don't know, like purple and green ah, tubes on it. We have seen here, against all odds, the tech dungeon is still using uh, like vacuum tubes as part of the technology here. I don't know, I gotta say, it's like arcing electricity everywhere is actually pretty easy to do with with broken electronics and whatnot. Maybe we're giving these guys too much credit. After all, they don't even know how to do anything except for create uh, wooden floors for all their stuff. Okay, just start getting rid of like lesser junk, I guess. Wolfram, sure. All right, AAA, uh, uh, the thing of AAA batteries, maybe. And I've already exhausted this, yeah. All right. Never seen this one before. Didn't even check it out in the last episode. So what do we got? Is it gonna be something? No, it's mostly the same thing. <laughs> a little bit more, uh, I don't know, um, red colored? Got like a little bit more of a red color scheme going on. New enemies though are kind of, 
as always, the slimes, which I'm sure are probably more of a result of the the teleportation technology and everything. If I was going to take any guess, that would explain why every one of them appears in here. In fact, are those like the goo characters that, that Pete was talking about originally? That idea of like, ah, oh, he was being attacked by goo characters. Are those the slimes? That actually kind of makes some sense in some ways then. Well, anyway, they're still some of the most annoying enemies that exist in the game. They're terrible, and I hate them. All right, well, despite all of the other sweeping enemies that exist in the game, this one actually seems to be more or less one of the friendlier of the of that variety, that class of enemy. Because I seem to be able to hit it most of the time. So come on. Yeah. All right, whatever. Look, I got plenty of potions. I don't know if you noticed this, but I, I did stock up quite a bit at the beginning of the area. What is this? A power supply. Supply, power supply, power supply, supply me some power. Um, What do I want to send back? I can just send back the power supply. Yeah, sure. Why not? This is, it's an Ouroboros of constantly sending things back and forth in that way now, isn't it? Oh, uh, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna use the potion here. Maybe get a look. I mean, after all, I should probably have the stuff to be able to... Should have the stuff required to be able to, um... Do a thing that I've entirely forgotten about. Uh, whatever. Look, I'm getting all distracted by... It because the enemies are tougher, certainly. <laughs> I mean, even on super hard mode, they, they certainly are not the easiest thing to just kind of walk past and ignore. Ooh, fancy chest. Rare chest. I'm gonna check that one out. I think I've seen that before as I've been doing like a little bit of grinding on my own time. My own grinding, if you will. And those things have like equipment in them or something. I do not know what the difference is, like why they got that... Uh, interesting unique color scheme and everything but as it is i am um, yeah even like a unique animation okay okay welding gun turns stuff into stuff which means we're gonna go turn that or er, how am i even gonna do this um put that there throw that in there yeah i did not realize that in the second dungeon but i did transform a lot of my books into these things because I thought it was supposed to be that it transforms into the, the, the thing it's pointing at this transforms this would transform into copper reels but no other way around the way around idiot it's like how was I supposed to know though it's it's not like the easiest thing to like it's not worded in a way that makes it whatever anyway yeah just give me a whole bunch of these things whatever it's fine uh oh yeah and that is absolutely a unique piece of equipment I'm noticing right over there here, go dump that. Maybe then I can go stack all these Argon bottles right there. Perfect. What is this thing? Oh, my God, because it's like I, I know. Just shove that in there. Um, Whatever. I don't How many of these copper reels do I need? I'm trying to. I'm, I, can, I can teleport back and forth, and I should probably remember that. <laughs> but, yes, it is going to cost uh, 80,000 gold. Man. Maybe that is a bit much. Uh, all right. What, what does this thing do? What does the angry amulet do? <laughs> Ring increases attack power, but tries to call the wanderer. Five percent? Is that worth it? Yeah, wanderer is that uh, a fun ghosty ghost fellow that I've been seeing around here. I'm guessing. Whatever. As it is even against my better judgment. I mean, I could just try, like, selling stuff. I got, like, a bunch of junk around here that I can just start sh shoving into my my cool mirror that will allow me to teleport back. See if I can get that 80,000 gold, and I probably can. Uh, let's see. Why not? Mm-hmm. No, I do actually want to keep that, after all. Uh, yeah, like, you, broken battery. I don't think I can get... Like, it, it's only the amount of the stack that you can get on there. Oh, that was like 12,000, for example. These AAA batteries. But, uh... Okay, okay, okay. 
Yeah, it's like whatever the maximum stack is. So I can't get like 10 of that or something. As much as I'd like to. All right, let's just set this around here. Ah, uh, yes, good old fashioned, just like inventory management. God, people miss this so much after I, uh, after, you know, the, 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 the such hit games like, I don't know, uh, Resident Evil 4. It's, it's a good thing that I'm, I'm really keeping the, keeping the whole spirit of it alive, right? <laughs> It's like, God, please, more where we can, we can see you just mess around with an, actually, like, there's a game, Fat Backpack Manager, Backpack Hero, I can't remember what it's called, that did come out fairly recently, okay, so I can't even attack that, it's just, yeah, that's just an obstacle, okay, is that a Robo Egg? Now, come on, <laughs> guys, come on, oh, by the way, slowly rotating industrial fans, I do want to point that out. I always love to point that out every single time. That's how you know it's high technology. <laughs> it's got the slowly rotating large industrial fans. Well, they don't have to necessarily be large, but it doesn't hurt. All right, how close am I getting? Oh, I do actually have the 80,000. Okay, well, then I can start picking up stuff again. Cool. Cool and great. Although, from what I remember, I mean, I can just look at my, my cool uh, book that tells me everything. But, uh, I believe that the, the wires are some of the least important of anything, so I can probably go dump those. Alright, you know what, golden chest, something that mostly only does shielding? Yeah, no, I think I can take out this room. Try and get some good stuff, baby. Give me the good stuff, give me the meowney. AC adapter. Yeah, that's the good stuff, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> truly the most important of anything. There's something that I had that destroys. Yeah, whatever. Um, here, send this stuff home. Oh, right. I was not going to send that home because of the whole thing where I get it to transform into more valuable things. Or I can just take all four of these. Why is it four, but it only stacks uh, into three? Whatever. Oh my god, I'm getting I am getting too obsessed with trying to maximize the amount of money even though I can already leave right now. A whip? What? <laughs> uh anyway, get rid of the healing robot first. You know, the robot that heals. This is a thing. High technology. We figured out how to just like shoot electricity everywhere. This is what we call technology. <laughs> and everybody here they love it and they and they understand it only too well except for how it works. Like, this is the easiest concept. I don't know. Oh, my God. I should just leave already. You know what? Screw this. I'm, I'm on it. Well, here. What, what do you got? I see you got some lore here, potentially. Found a room. Artifact in the middle. The Wandered will appear. Wait, is it the Wandered or is it the Wanderer? Uh, to fix your game, etc. Okay, send me out of here. Yeah, 80,000 gold. Just, just casually. <laughs> casually throwing that one down. Look at, look at, the enemies in this dungeon are huge, aren't they? <laughs> Alright. Hey, by the way, how much are these amulets worth? Because I know that I've looked at this before, but they are definitely like hundreds of thousands of money if I, yeah, this is like 500,000. <laughs> Not that it really matters, considering I'm just getting 80,000 or whatever on the regular. All right, well, suppose I should start stocking up everything, people. Broken Whip? Why do I even have this? Here, hey, y'all, you can have it for one gold. I don't even care. I don't I don't know if that's, like... Okay, it's actually worth almost, like, 25,000 against all odds. <laughs> it's a big piece of leather. Fine, it'll be 20,000. That'll work for me. And then as it is, uh, God, I don't even need money at this point in time, really. Let's be honest here, I don't need money. I don't even care. Wow, everything is so expensive. 
There, let's go throw that up to 10,000 then, I guess, in that case. People will be only too willing to pay that much for it, right? I mean, God, not, I, and it's like, all I need is I just need some more upgrades for my equipment, and that's it. It's like, I am so flush with cash that it does not even matter. I could also just go pay this one person to do it, but people like this part of the, the whole thing. I don't know why. I, frankly, I don't know why, but I'm only too willing to to uh, entertain everybody that's watching this series, I suppose. What are these capacitors worth? Probably a lot. Oh, not even all that much. Uh, apparently, I've never sold one before, which means that they are just... They're like... Super rare for no reason, seemingly. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go get the sheeple in here to throw me their pitiful amounts of cash that I don't even need anymore. Don't worry, I'll handle the, the shop myself. And then they'll tip me like, what is it? A hundred percent? Something, just something com totally and completely nonsensical. See, you love that. You need it. Your eyeballs are currently turning into currency again. How am I so bad at still pricing everything? Isn't there, like there should be an, a, an appraiser character or something that allows you to, that allows you to like figure out how much something is worth. Because I could really use that. I'm just saying I could really use that. I was only like 500. Yeah, I knew it. I knew those were the, the least expensive of any of them. Whatever. Oh, look at Richo over here. Buying the broken whip. Ooh. I'll use your money well. Ah, I'm going to use my money to like put a metal sheet or something underneath my clothing. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. At least I assume that's what the, uh, the, the armorer does. I don't know how armor works. I'll admit that right now. But yeah, as it is one ten-minute trip into the dungeon, nearly getting me a quarter of a mil million right there. Uh, nearly getting me a hundred thousand right there. What are you guys even doing with this? You don't understand what electricity is. You don't understand anything. You're all stupid. You don't even know what the dungeon's like. You just assume that I pop in there and pop back out and oh, oh, it, it was a it was a life and death sort of situation. I barely survived. You don't even know how easy it is. If everybody did, then they would be the owner of Moonlighter. But they're not. And when this guy wants me to tell him to get out, I guess I... Uh, five times. I mean, I've already, I already sell them for like a hundred thousand. Get out of here. Trying to like do oh I'm gonna get barely an increase in cash money for something that I'm already selling for like way less than it's worth anyway. All right, everybody, get out of here. My my pouch of gold is literally bulging at the seams. I have no more need for you, for the pathetic masses giving me cash. Anyway, that should work. In fact, with this amount of money, I can probably start buying some some real high ticket items, baby. At least that's the idea that I'm going with right now. There's not really too many high-ticket items that actually exist in the game. You know, there's not really like, hey, here's the two million dollar thing that you want to go get at the beginning, but... Uh, wait, what, what do I even need to do? I kind of got like everything right now. I guess there are like other, you know, different uh, weapons that I just have not been using the entire time. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, you stupid game. I'm not even bothering with this. I'm not... I'm not... I don't even want to recognize the existence. Unless they start talking about Ronnie James Dio or something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got, like, enough for... to not pay an outrageous amount. I might just do that anyway. I mean, like, why not? I can. Anyway, 100,000. Yeah, so it is pretty expensive still, but whatever. I should be able to afford everything easy. Actually, I am sort of running out of... Oh, I don't have the gold for that, eh? Oh, just barely then, too. Oh, man, that'd be a pretty big jump up in, in stuff. But yeah, I was actually planning to, like, go and buy some of the other potions, like the ones that, that reveals maps. Would probably be pretty useful. Or actually, you know what? I can still do that. Right, let's buy that. Sure. Cool. Do I even need three? I mean, 
I guess I don't really need to. I guess I can just kind of... Well, I've already got this open. So whatever. <laughs> get me out of here. And by out of here, I mean get me into the dungeon. As I continue to question what the, the deal is with all these people and how they... Like, I just don't understand. It's, it's like, I swear, in some of the the descriptions for stuff, like if I look at it, like seeing this, like called batteries, it's like... Like the store of massive amounts of non-magical energy. It's I do how do they how do they even know? How do they even know? Also, I noticing that like I didn't even use the I didn't even use the the No, how did I switch that out? Uh didn't even use the the thing and I ha and I do have the mapping on the floor now. I don't know how that happened. Huh. Weird. Yeah, was there anything in here? Yeah, I guess there's some junk that I left over here. And I'll take capacitors and everything, too. Well, I, I guess that's convenient. <laughs> sure, sure. Can covered in green slime, examining perfect housing. Oh, so, well, yeah, I mean, I guess we, we already knew that, though. Like, somebody's building a dungeon, and I don't know why, but they're doing it. All right, well. Let's see what the boss is then. And by what the boss is, I mean, let's go actually into the... Oh, okay, fine. Not so fast. You're going to be fighting this gigantic coil here. That's fine. I'll do it. I'm not going to like it, but I'll do it. There we go. Just block that with the shield. Block electricity with this big metal shield. Trust me, it works. It works super well, too, on top of that. Okay. What is the boss of this? It's literally just like a big giant wisp of electricity. Now, if we could do that, the okay judgment. If you could do that the entire time, why didn't why didn't you? All right. Well, this is not bad damage, and also it's not even attacking me. Um. Technology Guardian is... Well, I mean, I guess it's more like a power source, right? Than, like, an actual, say, enemy to be fighting or something. Oh. Yeah, okay. Convenient! Now, what are you gonna do? Okay. Okay. And one swipe. I guess I can only get like one swipe in here at this rate. Then it's definitely do. I, like I okay. Yeah, as it turns out, I think I'm gonna be totally okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of expected something like that. But at the same time, um, shouldn't be too much of a problem considering it's already dead. Could have probably perfected that boss fight too if I just uh, was a little bit more diligent in how I was. Unless it's a second phase. Nope. <laughs> if I was a little bit more diligent in how I was uh, guarding there. Man, you scale so hard in this game. It's ridiculous. It's like, yeah, I was just standing in that one area. Just constantly taking damage for a little bit there. Didn't even matter. I just did it. I did it because I felt like it. Okay, should I just immediately go and see what's in the final dungeon? I mean, let's 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 get the let's get the wacky stuff here. Canceling the double damage of a s ring that boosts it by canceling the double damage of a secondary attack. I guess I'm just not going to wear it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so something like that. Flux energy to serve as both a protector and power source. Oh, it, yeah, it, it does one better than the other. <laughs> Let's just say that. Oh, okay, so it's like this is the magic world and technology world. Was magic was... Okay, sure. So it was magic the entire time. 
All right. Yeah, sure. Well, there you go. So much for, like, you know, being high technology. It's all magic. It's all magic in the end. All right. I'll take a high amount of heat. Uh, cleaning uh, cleaning supplies, which, of course, is worth and just an extremely huge amount. Why not? Yeah, creative design. <laughs> vacuum idea. Uh, vacuum tube. No idea what it's used for. I combined those two words in my uh, head... Still have not actually seen the weird, uh, you know, I was supposed to see like the, the pursuer, whatever that guy was called, the wanderer, the wandered. <laughs> it's like, a, I can't believe that didn't appear at all. I went through an entire boss fight and never saw it even once. I still have no idea who Tomo is. Who is Tomo? You know, all for 5% more damage. 5%. I, if you guys don't know what plastic is, I, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be that these guys were making these dungeons the entire time. They're just pretending like they don't know, right? <laughs> like, oh, we don't know about this, this technology stuff. I mean, why would they, why would it be like that? Who knows? Cause it's like you'd think that people would be, I don't know, worshipping this as like, like they would be seen as divine or something. The fact that all of these things exist here, but everybody's so nonplussed. <laughs> all right, well, I mean, I guess I can go and sell stuff. Try and get to the uh, the final level of of things. Sure is. But, uh, go and get the final level of uh, equipment upgrade, but. No, I'm gonna go do it right now. It's probably. If it is a dungeon, maybe I'll stop it here. I've been going for about a half hour. But. I think it's just gonna be. You know, the final boss or something. <laughs> and it'll be, I don't know, the goo energy. I'll just, I'll fight all the goo energy and I'll kill it. <laughs> Which is a thing that you can probably do. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Why wouldn't you be able to do something like that? And I just did that there with the flux energy. Wow, just dis... <laughs> that, that picture is something, isn't it? And I guess I can just go set it so that, like, the shop is being taken care of. I'll just go see what happens. I want to know now. We're here. We got this thing open. What is it? I'm only too ready for whatever is going to be showing up as evidenced by that last boss fight. <laughs> unknown dungeon. Oh, unknown dungeon one. So it does say that there's like a dungeon one. Do I have, like, a tab in the book now? No. Yeah, there's all the goo. No idea. Oh, there's, like, the, the loading symbol for the game. Here's, like, something. Bones? Oh, and are these things, like, teleporting to various other dungeons and whatnot? All right. Got the four keys. There is what appears to be an amulet. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, like, leaking into... Leaking into the other various dungeons. Prototype L. 
It's the Chai the new body. Okay, I think I see where this is going. What else we got here? No idea what that is. It's like I cannot believe... Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's been a lot longer than that. Or maybe it hasn't. I don't know. And I'm guessing that's the guy that probably died uh, fighting Pete. Alright, well, somebody evacuated into a super body, so... Oh, yeah, there's, uh, those, like... Yeah, there's those, like, um, storage cubes around there. All right. And they made the prototype L, but then it does seem like most of these guys died here at this rate. Oh, I was hoping that was something I could pick up. Yeah, well, you didn't, and you're all dead now. Except for one guy, presumably. All right, and we went all the way into... All right, and we went all the way into um, cannibalism then. All right, so these guys are just like going around stealing stuff. I guess they're not setting up a dungeon seemingly. It's going around stealing stuff from various dimensions or whatnot. Is that the shtick? We. I mean, it's weird because these things seem to be like higher technology than anybody else. But hey, they did it. They made a big goofy thing. Oh, so you guys are just pirates. That's it? That was it? Really? <laughs> That's it? So I guess the idea was that they were stealing stuff and then everybody else activated their defenses and... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, fine then. These guys are a lot less impressive than I was expecting. It's just like... It... I mean, I guess there is something to be said. I mean, I remember there was an episode of... What is it? Star Trek The Next Generation about, like, a time traveler that just, like, stole a ship from somebody and then basically use that to you know go around and like steal whatever for all of your cool amazing body and whatever it's like all you got here dude is the ability to swing around a sword which I mean I have that too but you know what I'm saying oh he's a slug Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So, uh, what do you do? Oh, no, slimes. All right, I see. Said, not doing too bad, all things considered. Hey, come on. There we go. <laughs> all right, I did it. Took all my potions, but I I want to say, unless there's a third phase on top of everything else, I beat the pirates, that's it? Huh. <laughs> Space pirates. And I got to make reference to Star Trek, so what can I even say? <laughs> hey, are you guys the watchers?
Yes, I've figured that out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> in a video game style. Some of them did. The ones in the tree dungeon. <laughs> look at the forest. Like, look, nobody. Look, at least let us keep the forest dungeon. Nobody's going to be using the forest dungeon. That place was, that place was, you know, completely and totally destroyed. Nobody's going to care if we steal stuff from there. Yes, of course. Yep, yep, yep. Opening up the door because that's... Uh, they said that. A bunch of slugs. A bunch of slugs. They blew open. <laughs> they made video game dimensional pirates. And these guys, of course, all understand what dimensions are and everything. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. Oh, that's kind of clever. I mean, don't worry, they all died. <laughs> Stupidly. I mean, sort of. Look, I've already got more than enough money to last for an entire lifetime. Just, just let us keep the forest dungeon. No, it was a slug robot. Yep. For an entire lifetime and etc. So, yeah, we're going to get, like, inducted into the Federation or something now, right? Because surely you just can't let us just be like... Yeah, obviously. Um... <laughs> what, are you just going to go arrest everybody on the planet? I mean, we definitely didn't know. We have no concept of technology or whatever, and we just, just hide everything that we found in, in various chests. You can do that. Yeah, sure. All right, then. Fine, fine. What about that? Like, the forest dungeon is fine. Yes, exactly. See, I knew it. Hooray! <laughs> now Moonlighter 2, uh, trading across dimensions. What about, like, all the other guys that we've been, like, stealing stuff from? I believe the tech dungeon would probably be, uh, pretty happy to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send us to the prison planet or something, right? But, uh... Alright, well, that was dumb. No, you're not. Shut up. You all, you all know exactly what happened. And you were knowingly doing this the entire time. And you're just pretending. Because you knew that these guys were watching you. You knew that these guys... It's just like, okay, okay. We've kind of figured out the shtick here. From context clues and, you know, all of the various... The various, uh... That stuff. It's just like we're pr we were pretty sure that we were definitely taking things from alternate dimensions, and we maybe even they. Oh, was it? All right, cool, loggers. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we knew that we were definitely stealing stuff from other people, but and maybe they even knew about the space cops. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure. DLC OST. Uh, yeah, that is something to think about. There is, like, DLC or something for this game. I don't know what it is. But maybe worth looking into? Hard to say. <laughs>